Hi everyone, it's me, the Emsys Cool Videos. And this video is a little bit different from normal. So this channel does normally do toy reviews like Monster High, Ever After High, Shopkins, Zelfs, Funko and all those toys. Um, and like I said, this is different, which is a makeup kind of beauty um, video. And this is my makeup collection by, you might have read by the title. And it's kind of something in Beauty Guru because this is what I really do like, as well as toys, obviously. And because I want you guys to know more about me and just so you can love the videos and so I can also help welcome more people onto this channel. And if you are new, welcome. This is uh, Emily's Cool Videos. I'm Emily and I do have my sister Sophie. We do upload videos um, frequently, well, we try to frequently. Um, and it's normally toys, however, you'll get the odd slight occasion of, um, like, you might have some vlogs, you uh, probably have some beauty, like makeup collection, routines, skincare, everything like that. Um, and if, if you're a uh, already subscriber, thank you for subscribing, and uh, shall we get on to the video? So, my main part of my makeup collection is in this little case here. Um, I don't know where I got this case from because I just found it in like, the loft somewhere. Apparently my mum had it, so I was like, okay, it could follow down generations, but I find it's cu too cute. And I added some bows on for a bit of fun. Um, but yes, yeah, I was on my makeup, like my, 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 my main makeup, like my foundation, blusher, highlighter, concealer, and just all that jazz. Um, and just a quick... Um, like, the thing about my makeup, I only have, like, a little amount, um, because I only had, like, a certain amount of money, um, like, first of all, when I started getting all this foundation stuff, uh, like, £20, so I had to get, like, one of each so I can get a good base of makeup. Like, the eyeshadow and the lipstick I do have a lot of, but the, like, foundation and stuff, I don't have one of each. However, my birthday is coming up, so I hope to get, like, a lot more, so I'll hopefully do an updated uh, my nation, uh, my nation makeup collection afterwards, so you can all see my updated one. So anyway, this is the case, and I'll open it up, and inside is all my makeup, and just come with a little mirror. So first of all, I'll show you my foundation, which um, is the Rimmel Match Perfection um, foundation which as you can see there and I really do like this it is, has got SPF 20 and I've got it in the shade 100 Ivory and I feel that this is really good like a match to my skin um, and it is full coverage like it says and it also says 24 hour moisture hydration and pore blocking effect which is good because I do have like a couple of like block pores which I'm trying to get rid of eventually hopefully but yeah, that is my foundation. Uh, and next is powder, and I'm trying to find it. Okay. This is the MUA uh, powder, and um, this is in the shade translucent, because I just, you can't go wrong with translucent, you know, it's, you can't go wrong. And um, as you can see, I have used it a couple of times, and really, I think it's good. It says lightweight powder that creates a smooth and shine-free finish. I would definitely agree. It definitely does make my face shine free and matte. Um, and it definitely just lightweight. And I would definitely recommend this. And this was only a pound um, from Superdrug. So uh, if you're on a budget or anything, definitely recommend this. And the foundation, just quickly, I got it from a deal from Morrison's for Fiverr, which I think is really good, uh, but this normally retails for £7.99, £8, um, but yeah, this is, again, this is really good, um, I am hopefully getting the other Rimmel foundations, because I know I'm good in ivory for that uh, brand. Next is bronzer, again, it's the MUA bronzer, and this is the um, shade 2 bronzer, I think they had another one, Sunkiss Bronze, which I might get, um, because this is a pound and that was also a pound. Um, but as you can see, I do have this use, I have used this a couple of times. Um, and I find it's like a very brown, uh, brownish, I mean, um, it doesn't pick up a lot on one kind of slight stroke. Um, but it is really good, definitely, to find your face and contouring. 
and give it a go. And the Givra Pound is really good. I've missed out concealer. Uh, I've got the MUA Cover and Conceal Concealer, and this was only £1.50, which I think is a bargain for concealer. Normally, the range is about £3, normally nowadays. Um, so, it is really good, and I've got it in the shade Fair. Um, and I'm not going to over-rate it, because it's not as great as like all the good high-end high kind of concealers. Like, I know a lot of people have been raving about the uh, Collection Less Imperfection Concealer, which hopefully I will get. Um, and it's not as good as that, but I would definitely say if you're a beginner for concealer, or you just need something just to cover up any little blemishes, or just anything, you know, just need to little cover ups or anything, I thought it was good. For a Hershey £1.50 as well, it is really good. Um, but it does give a little cover on your spots or blemishes or anything. And I think for the under eyes, it doesn't do the best job. Um, but it covers them a little bit. But for the spots, it does cover in a little bit. It's like a nice, like, kind of thing over them. But it doesn't make them, like, vanish. But I think it's quite good. Then blusher. Blusher, definitely blusher. Which, is, again, is the uh, MUA blusher. And I love the MUA blushes. They have got so many ranges. Like they've got the uh, cream blushes and the general powder blushes. But they've also got different shades. And this is the shade Lolly. And um, it is really good. And it's very, very pigmented. So I only need a little bit on my brush. Um, and it is really good. It has a nice little colour. But it's also not too much. Because you don't want blushes where like, you're hot pink or anything. But it's, it's really good. I would definitely recommend uh, next is highlighter. So I've got the Natural Collection uh, highlighter stick, um, and I really like it because it's I've got it in the shade Rose Glow, and it's a stick, so it's like really easy just to apply on your face. Um, so no brush needed, and it's like a nice kind of bronzy kind of really uh, really shiny. Um, Highlighter, and that's what I like as highlighter. It's definitely my best product, definitely, because it has a nice little glow and you can't put too much highlighter on. Um, but I definitely, definitely agree with this. It says that luminous and sheer highlighting stick to create a sut subtle shimmer. Subtle, yes. Uh, and definitely, I definitely agree with it. I always put it like highlighting places, but definitely recommend it. It's $1.99 from Boots. Really good. Yeah, all these products in here are from Super Jug and one from Boots. This is from Primark, uh, but yeah, this is for my brows. I took the uh, the thing out. It was the PS uh, from Primark, the Brow Emergency Kit. Yes, that's what it was called. It is from Primark. Uh, it has got like a gold thing in it, but it's, you get a brow, a brow pencil, some tweezers, a spoolie, I think a spoolie, and some a brow gel, which I would definitely recommend. Um, again, for, it was two quid as well, so it's a, a really good brow uh, product for like a bargain. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really good, especially if you want your brows more defined. I think that I have brown. I think I can't remember, but um. I will have a look, uh, look when I've started any more shades, but um, it's really good. So that is that done, uh, that's my little uh, box of base. Again, I will get some more products of that foundation, concealer and all them stuff later on, but and then I'll do a review later on. So next, I'll show you brushes. So first of all, I've got this Paul Frank uh, Multi-Use Stereo Brush Set Tim. In all the six, I uh, got it for like something um and i really like get these uh one one two five brushes and one is like a, a brow and a lash brush and um comb set um one is this eye eye shadow brush uh an eyebrow brush I think that I, I'd say that's a blusher brush and a foundation brush. I, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me in the box below. Um, but I use that for my um, foundation, my concealer, uh, and brows, eyeshadow, and then like a brush. Um, definitely recommend if you find this. Um, I think it's like a very rare tin now. I don't really see that much, but I, it's definitely good. Especially if you just want like a couple of cheap, like not cheap, but um, for very good good quality style brushes um, for your makeup, definitely recommend this. Then next I've, just getting it. Then I've got the, 
upside down. This uh, brush wrap is from Makeup Gallery, which is Panland. And Panland Makeup, I, I seem to be obsessed with the videos testing Panland Makeup. Um, which, the Panland Makeup, by the way, it doesn't sound great. I have got a couple stuff um, from there, but um, I've got, I mostly go for the accessories. Which, I've got the brush wrap, which holds all my brushes. First of all, I've got their Kabuki brush, which I use for my blush, and it is really good because it's just the bristles are very soft as well, so all of them, and they're really good. So you know that they're good quality, especially for a pound as well. They're good quality brushes. See, so yeah, I like that for my blush because it's a very like a good big wide brush for my blush. Uh, then I have this random W seven brush in here. This is clearly an eyebrow brush but I think ages ago I bought it as an eyeshadow brush. I have no idea what I was like in my younger days but um, yes. And um, W7 are obviously really good. Um, nice and angled as well. So yeah. I think after I've got, I need to get some brow powder for these brushes. Then I've got this uh, make makeup gallery. That is my makeup that other Kabuki brush was Makeup Gallery. This is a Makeup Gallery uh, angled blush brush. I use it for my bronzer, my bronzer, my bronzer, or contouring with my bronzer because um, I found my blush is Kabuki. And this is a angled, so you can get a nice precision like round your ears and down your jawline. But I find it's really good um, to contour and use your bronzer with, and your forehead. Don't forget your forehead. <laughs> Uh, then I've got my foundation brush, which definitely is the main part, and this is the Makeup Gallery foundation brush. As you can see, I have used it a couple of times, and I definitely would rate these brushes, um, and definitely recommend them. So if you want some really good, decent brushes, go to Poundland, um, because they are really good hair, they're very smooth, I like them. But yeah, it's my foundation brush. Uh, then next, I've got my powder brush. Which, again, I really like. It's the Makeup Gallery Powder Brush. Uh, again, that's really good. Very soft. They all are very soft. Uh, I keep using it a lot of times. Um, very soft. Very soft. And But they're really good at, at applying products. But also getting products off the, the products kind of thingy. Whatever you call it. Thingy. Um, but yeah, that's my brushes. Um, then I'm now going to go on my this little bag which is hashtag no filter needed i've got this free from superdrug that i had like a free bag if you bought three products or something uh, and i had to get it and basically inside holds like all of my lip gloss like a lot of lip gloss i will buy some more lip gloss as well so first of all i've got this hello kitty lip gloss um so that i got this in like a set i got ages ago in yes hello kitty is very kitty ish and it was a kitty set i got it, it was like eight years old um so you know i was into it then but i still have it um this hasn't got names but i like to call them names i got it's a winter wonderland i or like um frosty snow frosty snow thing but yeah it's really good it's like a nice little lip gloss and color yeah i call it a frosty snow or winter wonderland would it then this is the Body Collection 2-in-1 uh, lip gloss, uh, pinky, it was pink and then a clear, um, I can I, I call it names again because I don't think it has a name, uh, I just call it the clear and the pink sparkle, I think it does have a nice sparkle, but yeah it's from Body Collection which uh, I think I got it from Body Care. Then I've actually got these two um, uh, lip gloss pots, they're from Primark and it's like a little glitter, it's not really a lip gloss gloss, it's like a little glitter um, like what's the thing, especially a cherry and an apple but the end fell off unfortunately and that one's a red, that one's a clear um, lip gloss or glitter um, but I really like them, they definitely smell good as well um, then I've got two more of the Hello Kitty lip glosses these two, I call this one the uh, Hello Kitty Deep Berry uh, Shimmer Lip Gloss and the Hello Kitty Berry Lip Gloss. I find definitely suit the colours. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are really good and uh, I like the little applicator as well you get with them, which is like the tilted uh, one, which I find is really good. 
wow, I have been talking a lot. Then I have this Minnie Mouse lip gloss, which I came from Poundland, because I wanted a lip gloss, and the Minnie Mouse is cute. But yeah, and um, all of the lip gloss come with like a... Um, is applicate one of the new general applicators. Uh, this is the glow in the dark lip gloss I got, which was from a um, a fun fair kind of thing. Um, that's what the applicators like. One of them. Yeah, one of them. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, I will find out. I will find out. But yeah, I haven't tried this out yet. Glow in the dark, but I will definitely have to. Then I'm near the end. I've got these two uh, Technic. Technic Fruity Roll on Lip Gloss. I've got it in Banana and Fruit Berry. Um, but yeah, they definitely are very fruity. Um, and they do add a nice little gloss to your lips. Um, definitely really good. Then, last but not least, I've got this. Is it Pucker Pops? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, was really, I bought it because of the little key ring. I thought it was in my bag. But yeah, I really like it because it undo it and there's your little lip gloss. It, I think it's I think I bought it in candy floss, but it reminds me of bubble gum. I can't remember. Hmm. I'll have a look again. But yeah, they're really nice. It's cute as well. So be perfect. Really, really cute. Um, but yeah. So next is the and next but final is this main makeup collection. Makeup all makeup stuff. Um, I've got this from Argos Age of It's the medium size, or it's small. 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 Um, I think the large has like, um, see, it opens up like that. As you can see, and the large has like, I think, um, one more on each side, and the medium has like, something different. I can't remember. This is small, yeah. But anyway, so the top here, the one, two, and three, I have my lipsticks. I'll just go from I'll go through them really quickly. I'm missing some lipsticks. I'm missing some lipsticks. Let me go and redeem them. So I've got the lipsticks, and the first one I've got is the MUA uh, matte lipstick, and um, this uh, M matte MUA matte lipstick, and this is in the shade uh, Lilac Bell, and it's like a purple kind of colour. Uh, I'm not really into purples, just I find that they have like a nice dark um, tone on my lips, but I definitely recommend the MUA lipsticks, and the matte ones are really good. Um, then I've also got another matte lipstick, which is again the MUA, uh, which is in the shade uh, Pouty Pink, um, and I always find I have to moisturise my lips before, otherwise they look very um, crumbly the word but um the matte they actually call it pia matte and i i do love this it must be my favorite matte lipstick i think they're only matte lipstick well only two matte lipsticks but um that definitely is good then i've got this laval lipstick um laval i think something like that um ah, so it's very light it's very shimmery um, and I got it in the shade Iceberg number 52. I got this from like my face and body shop down the road um, for me, but um, I don't know where they actually sell these. Um, but yeah. Then my lip lipstick is from Makeup Revolution. And it's in the shade uh, Dazzle. And um, this is a really nice colour. It's like a nice... It probably appears red on camera, but it's more of like a ready kind of pinky kind of colour. Um, but it's really nice, and it goes on really nice. Like creamy and everything. Then I've got four of the original MUA lipsticks. Um, I've got uh, this one. I've got this one. Uh, which is in the shade, uh, shade 7. Interesting. Um, it's like a nice, I don't know what colour it really is. Like a nude kind of, like a nudey, brownie kind of, I can't really say what, I don't know. I really like the colour though, um, but yeah, shade 7 is a really nice colour. 
Then I've got um, uh, this colour, which I, it's actually like a corally kind of colour, because um, I thought it would be nice for the summer, which is called Juicy Shade 15. Um, and uh, it's like a, again, a very nice corally, pinky, more corally, because I thought it would go really nice with my coral cardigan, my coral dress, or coral kind of dress um, in the summer, but now you're into winter, I suppose I could use it just like parties or events or anything, but it's a very nice colour. Uh, and probably you might tell I do love my lipsticks because you know, it's just a nice bright bold lip. Or oh, I can go for a subtle lip, but I just like my lipsticks, you can go for a much range. Then I've got this other lipstick, <laughs> which is like a very bright kind of pink. Um, oh, this is in the shade Persian Rose, which is a very bright pink, like a very Barbie kind of pink. Um, but yeah, very, very, very bright. Um, but I, I really love it. It's like a, cause I'm more into my pink kind of tones and my, yeah, like your, your pinks and not so much your reds, like your, your pink and your berry kind of colours. Then I've got this very, very light pink, which I rarely use because I'm not really into the brights. It's not really bright. It's in the shade Flamingo. Just, it's a very... You can see what I mean. It's very, very... Um, I can't really speak, but you can see it's very, very bright. It's not bright, bright pink, but it's very... Not very pigmented, kind of, tony kind of colour. But yeah... Um, some of them I do wear a lot more more than others, but if I had uh, to recommend a lipstick, the Anya Way lipsticks uh, are good, especially for a pound, and that lipstick is in the way. But these are a pound, but yeah, definitely recommend the Anya Way lipsticks, they're really good. Then I have these Technic lipsticks, which uh, I got from Body Care, uh, and this is one shade. This is in the shade, I don't think it says, does it? Oh, it does, at the bottom, Bare All, which is a nude kind of colour, which I really wanted a nude. Um, like a nudie kind of pink, I don't know if I recommend it. I got it from Body Care for 99p, so cheaper than the, um, was it a pound? Pound, no, it was a pound, so the same price as the MUA ones. Um, definitely another packaging as well, like a velvet. Then I have this other one, which is like a, a very ready, pinky, glittery kind of colour. As you can see, I don't really have that many reds. Because, well, I don't really have any reds. Because I don't really think I suit them, but I will buy some reds. That's what my aim is. Uh, but yeah, it's like a very deep, pinky, glittery. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very nice. A very, very nice colour. Um, actually, I'm very glittery. Then I've got this natural pink, which I must say is my favourite of all lipstick. Um, as you can see, it is used a lot. Oh, and the shade for this uh, ready kind of pinky is hot, hot pink. So it definitely explains it. But it's like a natural kind of pink on the lips. And this is in the shade for sheer rose. Yes, for sheer rose. It's definitely a very nice colour. Um, and they very are they are very very creamy and I definitely recommend. So this is my last lipstick, I think. Yes, uh, this is the I call it a very well I it okay it got in a Halloween set. Um, it's a very very deep berry. I just call it deep berry because here are you deep berries, but uh, it's a spooky lipstick. I don't think it's made by a brand or anything, no. But I would definitely recommend this, um, recommend the Technic lipsticks, the MUA lipsticks, just basically anything. But yeah, this lipstick is very nice, it's very, it's very nice. But I don't know what brand it is, so yeah. Uh, so next is lip liners, and these are the only two lip liners I have. Again, I need to buy some more. Let's take it again, he's in the way. Okay, so um, this is the MUA uh, Intense Colour Lip Liner in the shade Softly Lined, which is a very, very kind of natural pinky, bright pinky. Um, I wear that before any lipstick, unless it's like a very deep, but we'll go for the other colour. But I do need to buy another one. Um, but I love the sharpening on the side, so you don't have to like get a random sharpener. But yeah, lip liner is definitely good. The company lips up, made them look plump. Then again, MUA Intense Colour Lip Liner in Pink Me Up, 
which I do like, except you have to definitely have the right colour, otherwise the liner will definitely look really odd against the lipstick. Um, and they are very creamy, and in applying wise, they are the hard, soft, I would definitely say they're not exactly hard, but they're not soft, I would say the medium, they're alright, I've tried the Poundland, they are really hard, um, because I wanted some cheap lip liner that, um, you know, because I was a bit short on money, but, well not money, but I know, just want to very cheap and aren't just to do from now on, but definitely recommend these two, um, Makeup Revolutions, everyone reads about them as well, which I'll have to try them, uh, hopefully I'll get them as well, but, um, yeah, these two are really good liners. Next is mascara, mascara, I you say mas mascara, mascara, so this is my holy grail mascara, um, this is the Miss Sporty Fabulous Lash Curve Rush Lash Curving Mascara, mascara, in the shade number one black, and this is a really good mascara because it adds a nice blackness to your lashes, and a nice define, uh, and as you can see the wand is tilted, like so you have a nice curve to your lashes, um, has like a nice blackness, define, and a really nice curl as well, um, but I would definitely recommend, for one ninety nine as well, I would definitely recommend, and I will get in the, they have a stretch it mascara, which is for lengthening lashes, which um, I need to get and try, there's another one which are like an original, I will get that as well, but I definitely swear by that one. Again, um, this mascara is good, um, I use it over that one because I feel like this uh, acts properly over that mascara because uh, I did it singly it didn't really come out much which I don't think that's mascara uh, must be to be but I feel like that this is the extreme volume mascara by MUA uh, it's in the extreme black and it says to make um, false lash effect which I does if it's over that mascara like I told, said um, but originally it doesn't but I definitely would definitely go for this mascara because it is I think Two ninety nine, I think something like that. But yeah, it's like a general wash brush wand. It is like a nice chunky, um, but it is really really good. Um, a mascara. So definitely pick them up if you need a mascara, an emergency mascara or anyway. So lastly is eyeshadow, and I have my main eyeshadow palette. I am really weak on eyeshadow, but this is my main palette, which is the Laval uh, eyeshadow palette, and it's got some colours in it they don't really have. It's called the Shimmering Eyeshadow Number no. One. They don't really have names, um, but I normally use this eye palette. I always go for that one, pinky, and a couple more, trending other whites as well. Um, this is a nice eyeshadow palette, uh, but this is my majority eyeshadow look. Um, and I do also have the Hello Kitty, well, do you remember these two Hello Kitty palettes? One is eyeshadow and one is a lip gloss, lip gloss, lip sticky. This is the eyeshadow, um, which as you can see, something just dropped out. Uh, there's about a blue, green, brown, purple and pink and I haven't really touched the brown, no, the, no, the green and the blue but yeah, this is a really nice eyeshadow um, this is every really nice eyeshadow um, and um, yeah yes, me through for eyeshadow um, and the other one must be the lip gloss one uh, yes, and as you can see I have used it a lot they do come with little mini brushes but they've kind of worn out now um, but I do use that, but very, very, very rarely. Just if I want like a very subtle shimmer. Oh, they do have some nice colour actually. Very glittery as well. Definitely very glittery. Um, but yeah, they're very nice, and they do come with a. They do actually do come with a kitty set. So yeah. But um, now these are my last uh, three three items. This is the Technic uh, eye shimmer, uh, which is a load of like. Not eyeshadows, like a, like a creamy kind of eyeshadow, uh, very shimmery on the eye. Um, it's not an eyeshadow, it's, it's creamy, I, I can't really explain it, but it's, it's, if you want a very briefly 
tinted colour uh, eyeshadow. Um, this is really nice. Again, from Body Body Care and the Technic range. Um, and yeah, get a little mirror as well. Um, but yeah, that's the. Um, the pots for the eye shimmer, but yeah, definitely recommend that is really good. So, the last two items are the Beauty UK Eye Dust. I got these as a present um, from someone. Um, I don't know where they got them from. Uh, they've, got, they've got it in this white colour uh, and the brown colour, which I call it Cocoa Dust and the White Frost. Um, the names. Um, because they just look like really good it's a roll on so it's a really easy apply you just roll it on have a brush to blend it in and then you're off you go eye done um, which I'm always been the one waiting on so it's really good just a quick eye look but yeah I think that is actually it yes so uh, if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up also comment down below any videos you want to see um, and hopefully there will be some definitely more videos coming up soon because I know I am very not well, not very frequent recently in videos but hopefully soon there will be just because of reasons um, and stuff uh, but yes the lighting is going down because it's getting dark but yeah um, also click that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and uh, to make sure you keep updating videos and thank you all for watching and I'll see you later bye